Welcome to VBPI Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 4. Why VBPI? In the previous video, we have seen uh, what is VBPI. So, in this video, we will see why we need to go for VBPI. So, in the previous video, we have discussed that we can build the application with all these three components as a single application. We can also split this as a middleware and UI. Okay. So, suppose if we want to build Amazon website. Okay. So, if we build that as a classic application, traditional application, so we need to build all these three components in a single application so that it produces HTML. So, that's what we needed to browse this. Okay. When we go to browser and if we click uh, Amazon.com, we will see that HTML rendered over there. But if I want to build a mobile application, so I need to build UI for mobile. Okay, this UI is for my mobile. And at the same time, I need to build business logic layer again for my mobile application. Because, so we have built this application as a single application. We cannot take this out. Okay, so that's why we need to build these components again. Okay, so that we can communicate with the database. So this is unwanted time we are spending again and again. If we were to build another UI for some Amazon Prime or video streaming, then we need to build another UI and we need to build another business logic layer and a database layer. Okay, these are the problems we get with the traditional approach. But with the new approach, with the middleware approach, so we can actually build a web api so this is a database we will build the middle layers as a web api web api so this is a middleware so now if we want to build any number of presenting applications suppose here i am building a website for desktop so this is a website amazon website for desktop okay and again i want to build a mobile application so this one is a mobile app and i want to build another application for amazon prime okay this one is a prime i i can build prime desktop application and also i can build a prime mobile application so this one is a mobile application like this i have created separate separate uis but if i want to present a data i need to read the data from database and i need to apply business rules on top of that then we need to present that data so web api is already doing that job for us okay so we just need to simply call web api and get the data and similarly same for mobile application also from mobile ui also you need to call the web api so that web api will get the data from database and apply business rules and gives you the data and same uh, same with the um, uh, prime desktop application and amazon prime mobile application also same thing so like this if you want to build any number of uis any number of uis you can build you just need to consume web api for the data to be presented Okay, so if you want some data to be presented on the UI, Web API will give you that. So that's the advantage of building Web API. So with the Web API, we can achieve the reusability. So in the previous example, we have seen that if we build all this UI, business logic layer, data layer as a single application, we cannot reuse that. If we wanted to build a mobile application, we need to write, rewrite that code again and again for every separate application. But with the Web API, so we can build Web API once and we can reuse it for any application or UI you are building. Okay, that's why we need to go for Web API. For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.